Destiny. Why? Why do you do this to yourself? Now, I had previously recorded a video on here, and uh, unfortunately my computer crashed, so I lost the entire video. But basically I was talking about my impressions of uh, Destiny, and it's not good. I'll tell you that right now, it's not good. So, I have a huge, huge list here of um, everything that... <coughs> Hell, this list could have been bigger, but 25 things in this list. Like, wow. So, first off, I want to start out with the story. Now, before we get started here, I know that this is a beta, and I know that uh, things are subject to change in here, but what is in here right now just makes me want to throw up. <coughs> so let's get started here. So the um, number one here I have is the story. The story, I guess it's alright. <coughs> Destiny in the original never really had a story. Uh, you pretty much had to make up your own story and your own ending and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I guess them adding a new story to the game is kind of okay. Um, I guess it adds more, uh, you know, light to, this, to the game. Don't take that out of context. Traveler, I'm not talking about you. Um, the next one... The next one I want to talk about is the three new classes for the Warlock, Titan, and Hunter. So, the only one that I know of is the Dawnblade, which is for the Warlock. <coughs> and the Hunter, I... I don't know what the other two are, but... Honestly, I'm very disappointed in these classes. Very disappointed. And I'm going to go into uh, details on these right now. So, the Dawnblade, uh, the solar subclass of the, uh, the Warlock, has had its resurrection effect removed. Why? Just why? I just don't understand why they did that. It's like... It's like, holy shit, we... Uh, oh, those bosses, you can't resurrect yourself! You have to do that in one go. Mm-hmm. Really? So yeah, unfortunately, the Dawnblade doesn't have resurrection anymore. Um, Arcblade, the Hunter class, now gets replaced with a fucking staff... Why? I just don't understand this. What, so you could pole vault around like a fucking Olympic person and just smack people in the head with a fucking monk's pole? Come on, man. That's so stupid. That's not even... That's not even like a hunter thing. Now, one of the things that I saw in here that was that I thought was really broken and overpowered <coughs> was Golden Gun. Oh, let me tell you, if you get the right setup with Golden Gun, this is pretty broken. Um, <coughs> so, Golden Gun, get this. One of the power-ups for Golden Gun, you can get precision shots. And not just that. The precision shots also last longer. And it gets six shots. Yeah. You can see where that's going very quickly. So you just headshot somebody. Your golden gun is, uh, lasts a lot longer. And then you just go around, shoot five, four or five other people 
that you can find or whoever the hell shows up and then you get the accuracy boost from one of the one of the abilities that you have and everyone just dies. Like what the fuck are they thinking? Not to mention the the Titans worst. The Titans even more overpowered. And something that has really pissed me off in here is the Void class for the Titan. Really? Really, Bungie? You give him a Captain America fucking shield to throw like a fucking frisbee and kill people and melee them with. What the fuck is wrong with you? You did that for Thor's fucking hammer, and now you're doing that for Captain America's shield? Come up with your own fucking ideas! Holy shit! That's just so fucking dumb! Ugh. <sighs> The new Cabal are the guys with the fucking flamethrowers. Let me tell you right now, those Cabal that are fighting with the flamethrowers, they're the exact same as the Taken Knights. They shoot this little projectile over, goes, hits you dead on, Catches fire in the area, you walk into that, you take damage. That's the exact same thing. Not to mention, the Cabal Sword Wheelers are overpowered. Holy fuck. It took two of them with one jumping strike to kill me. Just two, jump strike, bam, I'm dead. Oh my god, not even the fucking stat changes can make you live through that. Not to mention, the Cabal Sword Wheelers, they, they don't stagger when you hit them with a melee. No, they're just like... Is that all? Really? Is that all? But anyways, it's like... Okay, um... Oh, the new boss! The new strike boss! Piece of shit! You wanna know why? He looks like Atheon! He's just a fucking Vex! He has no different attack patterns. Like, he has a boomer in his first stage. And man, that thing is fucking accurate. It can even hit you behind walls. Like, literally, I've tested this. He aims around the walls that you're hiding behind and hits you. And it's like, oh, it's a three-tier boss system. I don't give a fuck it's if, a, if it's a thousand-tier boss system. The game is shit. The boss is garbage. In his, like, final stage, I think he gets, like, a, a, a freaking shotgun or something. But even then, oh my god, man. Come up with your own original ideas! Stop recycling off shit that you've already had in the game! That doesn't make it better! I do like the fact that they put in a new enemy, though. The Cabal Dogs, or whatever the fuck they're called.
They're like an attack dog. But they're so pathetically weak. They're like a thrall. One shot, they're dead. Um, not to mention, uh, number 10 on this list is submachine guns. Holy shit! Who came up with those? They're weak! They're weak sauce! My auto rifle does more damage than those things! And when you're at a certain distance, you might as well be throwing stones at those damn guys. Because it doesn't do shit for damage. You literally have to be, like, close proximity to somebody in order to deal sufficient damage. At a distance, its accuracy is bullshit. It is absolutely stupid. And, oh my god, don't get me started <clears throat> on, like, the, the damage range. The damage range is so fucking small. What I mean by that is, like, you literally have to be on top of them to deal damage. You can't be far away, because if you're too far away, the submachine gun just shoots all over the place like a, oh my god, like a cricket on frickin' cocaine. Ugh. You hear that or a cricket on too much frickin' caffeine. Um. Like, they definitely either need to buff machine guns or the submachine guns or put them into the third slot. Um, I already talked about submachine guns only dealing a lot of damage up close and having bad accuracy. That was number 11. <coughs> number 12 is grenade launchers. They're way too fucking powerful. They're even more powerful than a rocket launcher. I'm not kidding. Like, I don't understand why grenade launchers are even more powerful than a rocket launcher. That shouldn't even be possible. But there's another concern that I have here, and that's, um... Them taking everything away. Um... So, we paid money in the game, or while well, other people have, I didn't really pay anything in that game, um, other people have paid money to get, like, the, the holiday items, like the ghost ghost, and stuff like that. The, my concern is that they are going to be taking everything out of the game, everything, everything, and that we would have to start over from scratch. So yeah, all that, all of those, um, all of those holiday items you paid real money for, and all of those emotes that you bought, they're going to be gone. And you're going to have to pay for them again. Can you call that greedy? Because I can. Um... Uh, like, they're going to take stuff away and force us to start over and repay for new stuff. That's my biggest pet peeve right there, is when a company does something like that. I don't want to have to get my exotics all over again from the very start. I have put in a lot of time and effort getting all of those exotics, especially those fucking swords. The three fucking swords, uh, Ray's Lighter, Dark Drinker, and... Um, I don't think it was Arc Bolt. Eh, I'm just going to call it Arc Bolt. Like, I have put in so many hours getting those things. And 
you're telling me that I'm going to have to start over and get those again? No! Fuck that! I had to put up with PvP before. I'm not putting up with that fucking shit again. I hate PvP. Now, I haven't done PvP in the game normally. Uh, I have pre-Destiny 2. And I can say it sucks. But I haven't done the PvP in Destiny 2 because I don't want to. <clears throat> I hate PvP and I can't stand it. So, in replacement of the three abilities that we have now, which are uh, Discipline, Strength, and Dexterity, or whatever the fuck it is, we're getting two, three new stats, which is Mobility, Recovery, and Resilience. So, Mobility increases your jump speed or your movement speed or whatever. Recovery is how quickly you uh, regenerate your health, and resilience is um, how many hits you can take before you can before you die. I think that's just a stupid, like that's just a stupid ass thing to do is to take out those other three uh, systems that you had in there in placement of that. Not to mention, abilities take way too long to recharge. They take way too fucking long. If you want to save your ass, you literally have to save all of your abilities. And use them at the exact perfect time, because if you don't, then bam. Like... It, you, you're screwed. I don't like that. I don't like that concept at all. They're, they're saying, oh, well, we're going to do that because uh, 25 seconds for a grenade recharge is way too small and people complain too much. Too fucking bad. It's destiny. This isn't call of fucking duty. Like, we're out there busting our asses off trying to fight these enemies. We need our fucking abilities. If they take way too long to recharge, how do you expect us to... to do anything? Just rely on our fucking guns? Ugh. Like, not to mention the grenade damage, it, it does way too little damage. Normally, I can one-shot a guy with my grenade. When I throw it at him a sec, like, the first time, it doesn't kill him. Grenades are supposed to kill. Jesus. And... I also want to talk about the three weapon tiers. Primary, secondary, heavy. You fucked that up majorly. Now, in place of the uh, secondary weapon slot, which is supposed to be the secondary ammo, which is supposed to be like a sniper rifle or shotgun, we get another primary. So for that, you get two primaries and a heavy weapon. And one of the most stupidest fucking things about that is that sniper rifles are a heavy weapon slot. What the fuck? Let me tell you something. I am a hardcore sniper in Destiny. And seeing as how they put that into the, the fucking category of 
a heavy weapon and saying that it's not going to be a secondary am or a secondary weapon anymore. That just pisses me off. Shotguns should not be a secondary weapon. They should be a heavy weapon, which they are now. But sniper rifles should be a secondary weapon. So, <clears throat> I already expressed my concern for number 19, which is making us start over fresh again. I don't want this to happen. And if it does, I am going to be pissed. And I'm sure a lot of other people are going to be pissed as well. I've seen a lot of people go on Destiny 2, and then they're just like, eh, I'm bored, I'm going back to regular Destiny. Oh well. So, Eurogamer said that there's a lot to look forward to in Destiny 2, but there isn't. How much you want to bet it's going to be the same goddamn garbage, the same bullshit over and over and over, and it's not going to be anything new. <sighs> I don't see any freaking thing to look forward to in Destiny. In Destiny 2. I don't. I really don't. Oh, sure. I'm going to look forward to all of my weapons that I worked so fucking hard to get and got such lucky rolls on the randomizer that I'm going to look forward to each and every single one of my exotics and weapons being taken away and I get put in shitty and ugly armor. Yeah. Yeah, Eurogamer. That's really, really fucking great to look forward to, isn't it? Another problem that I have is your character doesn't do anything interactive in the cutscenes. He doesn't talk. He doesn't do anything. All he does is just stand there and get talked to. Stand there and get talked to. That's it. When your ghost gets kicked off the side of the ship, what does he do? Uh, that's all he does. He doesn't say, No! Ghost! He doesn't say anything. I know it's a beta, but that bothers me. Even when they're in the ship. I can see that the character is like nodding at him and trying to talk to him, trying to interact with him, but there's no voice. I want my character to have a more significant impact in this game. I don't want to just stand there and be talked to. Stand there and be talked to. I don't want that. I want something more than that. And I'm sure a lot of other people do as well. Now, another concern that I have are the guns in that are inaccurate. There are a lot of guns that are inaccurate in there. The, um, the further away you get from an enemy, uh, the the less damage your gun does. And, um, like, I, I was using a scout rifle, and the freaking accuracy on that was goddamn garbage. Like, Scout rifles are known for having um, better accuracy. And normally, when I aim at somebody, I can get a headshot no matter what. I know how to aim a fucking scout rifle. I was aiming right at their head and was not getting a headshot. Not even a critical shot. 
or precision shot, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That also needs to be fixed. So, number 23 is shotguns being heavy weapons are a good thing. You don't know the rage that I, ha I have endured with shotguns. They're the most cheapest fucking thing in the entire game. And I hate it when people just run in like a bunch of fucking idiots, slide, and shotgun you for a one-hit kill. Fuck you. You have no skill. So shotguns being put into heavy weapons? Yeah. You like that? You fucking like that? Good. Because I am fucking laughing at you. Okay. One of... Uh, number 24 is... Number 24 and 25 are kind of interconnected here. And something that I want to say, <clears throat> I really don't enjoy. Four years into this game, and they suddenly decide to make Destiny better. I just don't understand why they think that that's, that's a good excuse for them to... Uh, price the fucking game at $120. I, I'm not joking. The standard game is $80 because I live in Canada. And adding the two DLCs, the two DLCs are $20 each. So an additional $40, it's $120. Here's what I don't get. Or here's what angers me. Four years into development, <clears throat> or four years into the game's life, and then they decide to crack open the fucking can with a goddamn saw blade, or whatever the fuck they use. I'm trying to make jokes here, but I can't. It's destiny. And it's like... Oh, we're going to make the game better now. Are you fucking shitting me? You should have got off your lazy fucking eye horse, gone over to Activision, smacked them right in the fucking face, and told them, we are in charge of this fucking game, not you. And then you have the fucking nerve to charge us for DLC in the original Destiny that you knew was a piece of goddamn garbage. And then you say you're coming out. We spent close to 200 fucking dollars on that game. I'm not kidding. And then you come out and say, Oh, Destiny 2. We are going to have new shit in here. We're going to have new this. We're going to have new that. And all for a price of $80. I feel as if we should get that game for free. Because we have had to put up with your goddamn bullshit and garbage and these shit stains of a fucking DLC dump charging us $40 for the freaking, I for, like, the Taken King and the Rise of fucking Iron. And then you say, oh, we're going to be remaking Destiny. You should have done that the first place, you morons! 
four years into the development, or four years into the game, and you decide to do that now? The fuck is wrong with you? Now, I want to say that if you people don't like my opinion on this, I don't fucking care. It's my opinion and it's my thoughts. And I have brought up some really good points in here. But they cheated us of our money. Making us pay $75 for the original game, $35 for the two DLCs, $40 and then $40 for the, 40 for the Taken King, and then $40 for uh, the frickin' Rise of Iron. That's almost $200. I bet people spent even more, up, up to around three, dollars $400 for the stupid emotes, for these stupid event items. And now you're saying that you're going to take all of that out and replace it with what Destiny should have been. What Destiny should have been is what you advertised in the fucking trailer, but you didn't go through with it. That's what it should have been. I just don't know what the fuck is going to happen to this game. And <clears throat> I feel cheated out of my money. Like, I feel as if we are entitled to this game. We are entitled to get this for free. For all the bullshit that they have put us through. I don't feel as if we should pay $80, $120 for this game. If it were like 20 bucks for the uh, for the whole thing, I'd get it. But not 100 and fucking 20. You don't have the right to to charge full price for this game. You don't. Now guys, you need to realize that you critique a game because you love it, not because you want it to die. It's just as Angry Joe said. I'm, I've am i also seen like people react to this game, and I gotta say, like, I'm tired of people seeing, looking past all this shit and seeing, like, oh, it's gonna be a great game. No, it's not. Pull your heads out of your asses and look at the bigger picture. The enemies are fucking repeats of things that we have already had in here. The Cabal soldiers, the ones with the frickin' knives, they, they're they copies of the ones with the fucking fallen with knives, except they're too fucking powerful. Abilities take way too long to recharge. Um, there's just... Ugh. There's just a lot of shit about this game. And I don't like it. I might not even buy Destiny 2. Like, uh, I don't know. Um, if I do get it, I will play it. And if it's not up to my standards, I don't give a fuck what goddamn excuse Sony or freaking Bungie or Activision or Whoever the fuck gives me, I'm getting my money back, all $120. Because I'm not paying $120 just to be disappointed by a game. Anyways, I've had enough of this. Uh, I could come up with like millions of points about this, but this is all you get for now. Um... I hope they take the the criticism seriously, and I hope that they make the game better. But at the same time, the the path they're going down right now is not something that I would like. It it's not. And Bungie, you need to make your game better. You like all this shit in here that I've mentioned. Like, you, you obviously, you really, in my eyes, don't have a right to charge $80 for this game. 
you don't. Not even 120. That's pushing it way too fucking far. You lied to us in the beginning. In Destiny 1. Saying that you had spent $500 million on this game. That's a fucking huge ass lie and you know it. They're... Like, they're... Uh, you guys just really need to... To make your game better. Like... But you most certainly don't have a right to charge 80 to $120 for this game. Absolutely not. The most you should charge is 30 25 $30 at the most. But, obviously, that's only my opinion. You guys could have a different opinion than me. But, yeah, anyway... I'm going to leave this video here. I've been uh, raging at this freaking thing for long enough. Anyways, if you guys like the video, or if you want to see more from me, my, my channel mascot is right up here. And he, if you hover your mouse over him, he'll give you a subscribe button to click. And over there, two videos. Uh... The two videos there will be ones that YouTube recommends uh, from my channel, so if you guys want to view them, feel free to. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what you guys think of Destiny 2 down in the comments below. If you agree with me, feel free to leave a like. If not, then eh. Just voice your opinions down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So, take care, and goodbye.